Hi, this is Steve at BlessedHopeForever.com. Today is December 30, 2018. Back in September, in a video called Thinking Outside the Box, the end of 5778, I showed you how that March 8, 2019 is an intriguing date given the fact that it marks the end of the spiritual New Year 5778 how that a rapture on that date would see the return of Christ on March 1, 2026, followed within hours by a total lunar eclipse, where the kingdom would begin on Israel's 78th birthday, May 14, 2026, and how that such a 26-25 day timeline is in agreement with the exact number of days given us for that timeline in Daniel and Revelation. I then stated that I would continue exploring that remarkable timeline. Since that time, in between our verse-by-verse -verse studies through Romans, many new sevens have appeared in relation to this most mysterious president of the U.S., Donald J. Trump, as well as sixes associated with Barack Obama. In previous videos regarding the identity of the Antichrist system, I believe that I've sufficiently shown how that scripture associates this system with a Middle Eastern coalition of nations led by Turkey. I therefore continue to believe that we are being shown these six and seven number associations to reveal the fact that Obama is not the man of sin as many falsely claim but was most likely the next to the last leader of the free world six, whereas Trump is the final leader of the free world before the church is caught up in the air to forever be with the Lord. Since September 20, I've discovered a number of additional factors that appear to reinforce this timeline. And so that is the primary focus of this short video update, rapture update. From the start of this new century, January 1, 2000, it just happens to be 7,000 days to March 1, the date that Christ would return on the aforementioned timeline in 2026. 7,007 days to the end of 5778, the spiritual year, New Year 5778. Actually, that, that date would end 5778, 5779 would begin. And note that being that the spiritual New Year 57 is 5779, that we're, we're, we're leaving 5778, going into 5779, those four digits, the last number of the, those four digits being nine, also aligns itself or coincides with the Western calendar year 2019. 70, 70 days, 7070, 70, 70 days to Pentecost, that's on the Hebrew calendar, 7100 if you go by the Western calendar. So it would be another 70 days to Pentecost, May 10, 2019, which amazingly aligns itself with the day that Adam was created according to Torah calendar. Spring equinox is March 20, 12 days after 5778 ends. 50 days forward from the spring equinox would be Pentecost, May 10. These are very interesting numbers, but I'm actually seeing a little bit more here. It's the numbers 7,000 and 7,007 that I find the most intriguing of all. We already see how that the 7,000th day of the new century, that's the 21st century, by the way, and 21 we know represents sin, wickedness, 
and rebellion is associated with the date Christ would return. March 1. And how that Pentecost, May 10, aligns itself with the day Adam was created. This got me to thinking back on the six days of creation where God rested on the seventh day. Well, there's our, there's our seven. Where that beginning on the eighth day, eight being new beginning, Knowing Adam was given dominion for 6,000 years, if we included the 1,000 years that Christ reigns on earth, this coincides with the number 7007, or 7,007. So therefore, with all of the significance that we see in Scripture regarding the meaning of the sacred number 7, as well as all the amazing 7s associated with with Trump, we are now seeing more sevens ahead of us as it relates to the timeline that I've been discussing. So I can't help but be very hopeful as we enter into the year 2019, despite the ominous feeling about the number 19. There's no way that we can be dogmatic about any specific date, but it has always been our interest here at blessedhopeforever.com to, to show you what we believe is the most likely based on the evidence at hand. I love you all. I truly do. Keep looking up. Until next time, this is Steve. Thanks for watching.